The realm of Alron exists in an uncertain peace divided between great powers. Part of the land is controlled by Galdea, a technologically advanced empire, while the rest is divided between a collection of allied kingdoms known as the League. Noah, a boy from an isolated village, is assigned to a joint expedition with the Galdeans. He meets Sane, a young Imperial officer who is friendly, but also warns him that one day they will have to cross swords. Sadly for both of them, this prediction will come to pass sooner rather than later, as the discovery of a new artifact and a sinister plot draws Alron ever closer to war. Iodin Chronicle is massive. That's the one word you will hear used to describe this game because it is apparent from the very start. This game is meant to resemble one of the ultra-ambitious JRPGs from the PlayStation era, and to that end, any feature you might have found in a late 90s RPG is mixed in here somewhere. It features town building, distinct mechanics for tactical field combat and duels, commodities trading, a half dozen mini-games ranging from races and fishing to Beyblade-esque top battling, and the opportunity to recruit a massive, colorful cast of characters for both combat and non-combat roles. But let's not fixate on the side content so much that we miss the essentials. This is a JRPG at its heart, featuring turn-based combat with up to six active and one supporting party member at a time. There are dozens of available fighters, all of whom have distinct special abilities and even different blocks. Characters have access to conventional magic, specials fed from a regenerating meter, and a small selection of combo abilities. Now, some of these skills are unique to certain characters, while others can be assigned through runes, the game's customization system. And for those who prefer auto-battlers, Iodin Chronicle also features a robust auto-combat setup that is fully customizable for each individual character. I could easily go on for another 15 or 20 minutes delving into detail on this mechanic or that aspect of the plot, but it's really not that complicated. If you agree with me that the PlayStation had some of the best RPGs ever made, then Iodin Chronicle is absolutely the game that you have been waiting for.